all right guys in this video we are gonna learn how to read Japanese candlesticks so if you want to learn the basics of candlesticks or candles please stick around and without further ado let's jump right into the video all right so what you can see here is an example of a Japanese candlestick chart and the first thing we're going to do in this video is that we're going to zoom in and take a look at the individual candle and look at how we can read it and what it means. So I'm actually going to pop up Paint 3D here. A typical candlestick could look something like this. The reason it's called a candlestick or a candle is because it kind of looks like it. All right, so we can write a little note here. It's called candlesticks or, or for short, candles because it kind of looks like one. And we're gonna learn some definitions here. So, so if you have a pen and paper, you might wanna do some notes here. But all right, so let's take a look at this candle. What does this actually mean? Well, the, well, the part that looks like a rectangle, this green part right here, is what we call the real body of the candle. And what does the real body represent? Well. And the real body represents the range between the session open and close. So, for example, where the day starts and where the day ends. But the session can be anything from one day, one week, or even down to like five minutes. So the real body represents the range between the session open and close. When the candle is green, like it is here, so a green candle, what does it mean? Well. It means that the close was higher than the open. So the close was higher than the open. And this means that in this case, the candle opens at this level. It can, for example, be, let's say it's $10 here and it close at this level. It could, for example, be, let's say it's $11. So that's a very good day. That's a 10% increase in that day. But so a green candle always mean that it opens at the bottom of the real body and closes at the top. So it means that the close is higher than the open. But a red candle, what does a red candle mean? Well, you may have guessed it means the opposite, that the open was higher than the close. Or in other words, the close was lower than the open. We will take a closer look at that later, but we can just do a very small example here. This is a kind of a similar candle, but in case of a red, we know that the close is lower than the open. So in this case, the open is up here. So it opens up there and close is down there. So this is basically what the color of the different candle means. All right, so now I'm gonna erase some stuff here. Sorry about that. Now you probably wonder what these little lines here mean. Both of these lines are called session price extremes. And these have a name, they are called shadows. The, the upper small line here is called the upper shadow and as we said, they represent the session price extremes. So the upper shadow represents the session high, the highest price of the session. So if we say that this green candle right here represents a day, within this day, the price might have reached 11.5. And this was the highest price during the session. That means that we will have an upper shadow a shadow above the real body that goes up to 11.5. And for the same reason, the shadow here on the bottom is called the lower shadow. And the bottom of the lower shadow represents the session low. So during the day, the price might have gone, gone down to 9.5. But remember, it closed up at 11. All right, all right. We're gonna learn some more things here. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at some special cases. If the real body has no upper shadow, so 
let's delete the upper shadow here. Then we, we say that the candle has a shaven head. So no upper shadow means, and it also has an opposite here. If the candle has, if the candle has no lower shadow here, then the candle has a shaven bottom. And yeah, now I think it's time to look at some real life examples of how to read candles. So let's, for example, take a look at this chart right here. This is the gold spot price in US dollars. And we're going to focus, we're not going to take a look at today's candle. So ignore that one. We're going to take a look at this red candle right here. And what you can do here is that you can pause the video and try to say what was the open, what was the close, what was the session high, and what was the session low of this day, of this candle right here. So try it yourself and then you can look at my answer here. So the first thing we can notice here is that we have a red candle. And remember, a red candle meant that the close is lower than the than the open. So we know that the close is the bottom of the real body. So the close is this yellow line right here. And we can see that that is around equal to 2000, it's maybe 2032. So we can see that, so we can write that one down, close 2032. And that's and because it's a red candle, we know that it opens higher than the close. So the open was up here. Maybe 2063. You can say open was around 2063. Now let's take a look at the session high and session low. And remember, the shadow above the real body here represents the session high. So now we have some text in front of this, but it should be around here. Uh, looks to be around 2075, right? So session high. This session, by the way, is one day. Every candle here represents one day, but the session high was 2075. You can say session high and session low. What is the session low? Well, the session low was all the way down here at 2015. So we can see that a very volatile day here, the price was, the intraday price was at the lowest price, 2015, and at the highest, it was up on 2075. So very big differences in price on that day for gold. Yeah, so here we have the open, close, session high, session low. All right, so now let's take a look at one more example here. Uh, in this one, we're taking a look at the Apple stock here, and we're gonna take a look at this, this green candle right here. And when we have a green candle, remember what this means. It means that it closes higher than it opens. So, so that means that the top here of the real body have to be the close. So the close here looks to be around, what can it be? Around 455. And the open is down here. It's around 441. All right. The lower shadow is all the way down here. And it looks to be around, so session low, looks to be around 400 and maybe 439. And the session high, the session high is all the way up here, almost at uh, 458, right? 458. But yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you found any kind of help or value out of it, please consider dropping a like. If you have any suggestions, if you have any suggestions what you want me to do next, please leave a comment down below. 
and also if you want to see more videos similar to this one don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell hope you guys have a great great day and i will hopefully catch you in the next video but for now guys take care ciao ciao